Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Skyline, the Nintendo Switch emulator on Android, just got a heck of a lot better. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off here, in my opinion, Skyline is the best Switch emulator on Android, and it's not even close. Yes, Egg NS exists. I'm not going to deny that. I've talked about Egg NS in previous videos. I don't recommend it at all. Now, Skyline is very early on in development, and they just had a major breakthrough. The overall performance of Skyline with the latest update has increased over 400%. That's nuts. If you take a look at Astronomy 2020 screenshot from Discord here, they have Sonic Mania up and running at 340 frames a second. That is absolute madness. And the real kicker here is this performance increase is across the board. Every single game. Rob on Discord showed Sourcebringer up and running at 41 frames a second and Binding of Isaac up at 18 frames a second. Now it is worth noting that this isn't all sunshine and roses considering not all games work yet with Skyline. Compatibility is still relatively shallow as the emulator is still relatively new. On top of that, this huge performance increase I wouldn't say is necessarily sustainable for long periods of time. The Skyline developers are working on it, but it starts out pretty good here, and then after a while, performance will decrease. So Poyat, or Poya here, I'm not quite sure on how to say their name on Discord, shows Celeste up and running at 28 frames a second, and then after a while, it does slow down to about 15. If you want to try an early build of Skyline yourself, by all means, you can. It's absolutely free. You will need a GitHub account, though. So I'll leave a link to the GitHub page in the description below where you can sign in and then download the APK. If you take a look here, if I try to click on anything, nothing will download, and that's because I'm not signed into GitHub. So once you're signed in here, feel free to click on apprelease.apk, and that will give you Skyline. At the end of the day here, while Skyline can't emulate anything like Breath of the Wild just yet, it's becoming more of a when as opposed to if. This thing is improving at an alarming rate, a very impressive rate. I mean, these latest performance improvements have me extremely excited about this emulator. If you're interested in Switch emulation at all on Android, you should be paying attention to Skyline. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about Skyline and Switch emulation on Android in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.